Hey everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm looking at Sprint's new ultra-fast 1GB wireless service. Now, Sprint wants to get back into the network speed discussion badly. The company on Wednesday unveiled Sprint Spark, its brand for the ultra-fast LTE service that eventually will offer a wireless connection capable of delivering data at a blazing 1GB per second. But initially, Spark will be able to deliver peak speeds of 50 to 60 megabytes per second. Now, Sprint has fallen behind in its deployment of a faster 4G LTE network and is in desperate need of catching up with the competition. Sprint has been hampered by the shutdown of its Nextel network and complications with business deals, including the acquisition of former partner Clearwire and a takeover by Japanese carrier SoftBank. The company lags behind at a time when consumers are focusing more on the speed of the service. Spark is part of Sprint's bid for comeback, but it's more promised than a full-fledged service. The CEO of Sprint, Dan Hesse, demonstrated the network's ability to deliver a peak 1 gigabytes per second connection at the company's lab in California. The service, however, won't be able to deliver that kind of speed anytime soon. Spark is available today in five markets, New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Tampa, and Miami, Florida. Sprint also unveiled a new set of phones compatible with Spark, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, the Galaxy Mega, and LG G2, all of which launch on November the 8th. The Spark-compatible HTC One Max will be available soon. Spark is able to deliver higher LTE speeds because it juggles three Spectrum bands, entailing Sprint Spectrum, Spectrum from its now defunct Nextel network, and Spectrum taken from its acquisition of Clearwire. Because the three swaths of Spectrum run at three different frequencies, it was seen as a potential mess for Sprint. But the company's Network of Vision upgrade plan allows its infrastructure to handle all three bands. The four new phones will be the first wave of tri-band compatible devices. The company said that the new phones, once updated, would be able to get to peak speeds of 50 to 60 megabytes on a limited basis in these markets. Sprint says that the network will increase the speed over time and that it is technically possible to deliver a true peak speed of 2 gigabytes per second over the air. The company plans to deploy Spark in 100 of the nation's largest cities over the next three years. It already said it expects to cover 200 million people by the end of this year. Sprint has bumped its estimate to 250 million people by the end of 2014. During his conference call today, Hesse hinted at an announcement that would tie in with its Unlimited for Life offering. The For Life part could be significant for customers who hang on to get Spark, because for many people it will be a long wait. Now please let me know what you think of Sprint's Spark service in the comments below. To me it actually looks pretty cool if Sprint can really pull this off, but that's just me. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you want to enjoy this video, and I will see you next time. Bye!